In his biography of the renowned 19th-century German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, titled Nietzsche, The Ethics of an Immoralist, American author and Professor Peter Berkowitz conducts in-depth analyses of Nietzsche's most widely read works. His aim is to challenge what he perceives as overly simplistic interpretations of Nietzsche's philosophy, specifically countering the notion that a direct link exists between Nietzsche's views on morality and human achievement and the atrocities committed by the Nazi party. Born in 1844 to a Lutheran pastor and his wife in a small town outside Leipzig, Nietzsche became an orphan at a young age following his father's death. Despite having only average grades, he gained admission to the prestigious Schulpforte in 1858 due to his status as the son of a state pastor. After graduating in 1864, Nietzsche pursued studies in theology and classical philology at the University of Bonn, where he was significantly influenced by Ludwig Feuerbach's The Essence of Christianity and Charles Darwin's Evolutionary Research. These influences contributed to Nietzsche's rejection of God as a human-created fiction. Following a military stint, Nietzsche published his first book, The Birth of Tragedy, in 1872. Berkowitz argues that even at this early stage, key elements of Nietzsche's later philosophy were already evident. For instance, Nietzsche admired the ancient Greek tragedians Aeschylus and Sophocles for their exploration of human suffering as a means to understand the joyous aspects of the human condition. However, he criticized later Greek writers like Euripides and the Aristotelian school for imposing rationality on all aspects of human existence, posing a threat to a transcendent understanding of humanity. Over the next decade, Nietzsche produced major works, including Human, All Too Human, 1878, a pivotal step in developing a theory of existence divorced from the pessimism or nihilism of his contemporaries, such as Arthur Schopenhauer and Richard Wagner. Notably, this work marked the shift to Nietzsche's use of aphorisms rather than traditional essays, a style that would characterize his later writings. Berkowitz emphasizes the significance of Nietzsche's aphorisms, challenging the rejection of these concise statements by late 20th century thinkers, particularly postmodernists skeptical of universal truths. Despite Nietzsche's famous aphorism, what does not kill me makes me stronger. Postmodernists often overlook the subtleties of these aphorisms due to their rejection of universal truth. Berkowitz contends that Nietzsche's perspectivism, outlined in Thus Spoke Zarathustra, underscores the absence of objective truth after the death of God. According to perspectivism, truths are conditional and contingent on an individual's perspective, necessitating constant re-evaluation of natural, civic, and moral laws over time. Contrary to the belief that Nietzsche's rejection of a universal moral code renders morality meaningless, Berkowitz argues that Nietzsche values the creative act of a community establishing its own moral or ethical code. In perspectivism, Berkowitz identifies a celebration of creativity and the creative life as essential for individuals and communities to develop ethical codes. Rather than immorality, Berkowitz sees Nietzsche advocating a counter-morality that encourages individuals to move closer to living their best lives. Berkowitz concludes by addressing the misinterpretation of Nietzsche by the Nazi party, asserting that their embrace of Nietzschean philosophy is a fallacy. He argues that the Nazis selectively appropriated aspects of Nietzsche's philosophy to justify atrocities, falsely claiming a lack of morality. Berkowitz suggests that Nietzsche's relationship with Socratic and Aristotelian thought is complex, acknowledging both anti-Aristotelian sentiments and an affinity for the Socratic method, where questioning takes precedence. Ultimately, he proposes that accepting the non-absoluteness of moral codes may enable individuals to improve and adapt these codes for more fulfilling lives. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.